Participatory budgeting began in 1989 in Porto Alegre, Brazil, as a way to give residents a direct say in how to spend a portion of their city's budget. Since then, participatory budgeting has spread to over 11,000 municipalities across the world. PB came to New York City in 2011, when four city council members, along with local residents and community-based organizations, put up a portion of their discretionary funding for New Yorkers to decide how to spend. Since then, the city council process, also known as PBNYC, has grown to include just over half of all city council districts. In 2022, the New York City Civic Engagement Commission, also known as the CEC, launched the People's Money, the first citywide participatory budgeting process with $5 million of mayoral expense funding. For the first time ever, participatory budgeting was made available to all New York City residents aged 11 and up, regardless of their immigration or incarceration status. The People's Money is a process that runs in four phases. In phase one, from September through November 2022, the CEC and our 82 community partners facilitated 523 in-person and virtual workshops, inviting over 12,344 New Yorkers to learn about the city budget cycle, identify community needs, and brainstorm ideas for expense projects through interactive activities and discussion. During these sessions and through our website, residents could propose ideas for their neighborhood of residents and or one of our 33 equity neighborhoods. In total, New York has submitted 2,023 borough ideas and 2,116 equity neighborhood ideas. In phase two, from December 2022 through February 2023, five randomly selected borough committees and 33 equity neighborhood coalitions evaluated the submitted ideas using equity and feasibility criteria. After weeks of analysis, these volunteers developed and selected the final 182 project proposals to be placed on the ballots. In phase three, from May 10th through June 25th, New York City residents had the opportunity to vote online or in person on which projects would be funded in their communities. The CEC partnered with 59 community groups, city agencies, and local artists to conduct digital and in-person outreach at hiring halls, schools, libraries, museums, food pantries, and other community events. During these six weeks, the CEC participated in flagship events in every borough to raise awareness and help New Yorkers vote. The People's Bus, a retired Department of Corrections vehicle transformed into a mobile community center by the People's artist Yasmane Arboleda, was reimagined as Tippy, the People's Money Monster. As a result of these efforts, over 110,000 borough ballots and over 95,000 equity neighborhood ballots were cast. As we enter the final phase of the process, we are so excited to announce the winning projects for every borough and the 33 equity neighborhoods. In total, 46 projects will be implemented. The top 46 funded projects are addressing community needs as identified by residents, with an overwhelming focus on youth and mental health services. Residents also chose projects that focus on supporting senior services, immigrant services, arts and culture, the environment, workers' rights, and a lot more. The CEC will announce the organizations responsible for implementing the funded projects and will work with those organizations over the course of the year to assure they are effectively supported, monitored, and that the projects are completed successfully. For detailed vote totals and a list of the 46 funded projects, go to participate.nyc.gov. New York City, thank you for participating in the people's money. Participate.nyc.gov.